welcome back to On The Record. We're here at the Tech Data event in Los Angeles and I'm here with Jason Johns who's with Red Hat. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So, Red Hat, everybody talks about it. Um, there's a lot of bars out there that really don't understand what it is that you do. And a lot to do. So for those that don't, what is, what's Red Hat all about? So, so Red Hat is a company that is really um, a leader in open source. And so open source, if, if you don't know what open source is, really to, to put it in plain speak, um, it is like uh, you go out, you've got you know, all kinds of uh, you know, water available to you in the mountains, but you don't go up there with your bottles and actually go and, and take that water and, and scale the mountain and go and bring it down. You actually go and you go to your grocery store and, and you've got a package up like Fiji water. Right, so to make it simple, there's all these open source communities out there, um, but you're really not going to package everything up. That's what Red Hat does for you, similar to bottled water. And so, in plain speak, um, we take all of those open source technologies, we package it up, we provide it, and then we provide it also as support. And through our resellers, all the customers are buying Red Hat support. Somehow, I get the feeling that you've said this all before. Once or twice. <laughs> Once or twice. Uh, okay, so open source itself, let's start with that. Why is that so important? So open source is important uh, just because it is, it's a very different model than the proprietary model. So you've got Microsoft and Oracle really building out, they've got all their developers, you know, writing code, and binary code, and, and they are then, uh, it would be almost like building a car, but not having the, uh, the hood welded shut. You can't look at the engine, you can't fix the engine, you can't modify the engine. Anything goes wrong with that engine, then you gotta take it back to the dealer to have anything done on it. Well, open source is totally different, Red Hat is, that, that you actually can open up the hood, you can look at the engine, you can modify it, you can, and then we've got a, a crew chief and a pit crew that's actually there to help support you with whatever modifications and issues you might have. Again, while we rehearsed. <laughs> I love it. It's got to be, you're making my job really easy. Uh, so you have this open source, you have Microsoft, prop proprietary, but we'll just take those two for, you know, just to, for a simple, simplicity. Why would somebody, um, an end user, let's start with them, why do they care? Like, why are so many people moving away from proprietary and into open source? Well, first of all, um, they're just from a, we really, the foundation of what we're trying to do is provide more with less. So you're shrinking budgets for CIOs, um, your security issues, um, and, and ultimately just trying to do more with less. And so when you try and do that, Red Hat provides them with that. And so they don't, a lot of them don't care, but it's our partners who are really the influencers taking it to those end customers and saying, you can do better. And we can scale better. It's we're going to save you on your budgets, and we're going to actually provide better performance. And if, by the way, your budgets, you're not going to have to buy, you know, a three-year, you know, you know, or a license up front and take all of that budget money. We're going to give you a subscription model for Red Hat, and it's just going to be paid year after year after year. And it's about 60% of the cost of Microsoft. Okay, so you have. All these VARs out there, so let's say about 85,000 just in North America, uh, VARs, VAR organizations. Um, you're telling them, don't bother selling the, the product that everybody is out there buying already, or the one that's becoming the, 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 the standard. Move to something else where you're not going to sell them as much money as worth, so the, the value is going down. What's the, what's the initiative, or the what is making a VAR? And, I shouldn't say a bar. We're just making thousands of bars moving over to the open source. Well, so a couple things. So first and foremost, about five years ago, we were six percent of the OS market. Today, we're twenty-two percent of the OS market. So we have gained oh, yeah. huge market share, and that whole Linux to I'm sorry, Unix to Linux migration is really happening. And it's an easy conversion. But but partners, even at a lower price point, what they're typically doing is. They are then, if there's $100,000 set aside for Microsoft licenses, then you can actually take that 100000 and for Red Hat, if you insert Red Hat in there, it's going to be 60000 or so. And then you actually, that additional 40000 you then put into either additional licenses or subscriptions or into services that makes the partner more money. 
And so that conversion um, is really profitable. We've got great programs to help support uh, our value added group seven. And where do you think open source is going? So open source is really interesting what's happening um, with open source because really, especially cloud foundations, all of the, the, uh, the majority of clouds are actually being built on open source technology. And so we think that Red Hat is positioned really well. So in order to build a cloud, you really have to have the operating system, uh, virtualization technology, as well as middleware. And Red Hat is one of two companies that can say that we can do that. Um, the other is Microsoft. Microsoft is proprietary, and we are open source, and, and the leaders in open source. And, and with the cloud move into open source, we think that we're positioned. Um, some people say that right now it's a two-horse race, you and Microsoft, and you're sort of saying that now. Do you believe that? I, I do. I think that, that it is, you know, really the open, uh, the operating system or specifically, number one is, I mean, they are, it is moving to a two-horse race. And then, but with that, you know, certainly Microsoft is a huge company and a, a great competitor. Um, but we feel like there's also, you know, we're positioned much better, actually, from a standpoint of you know, clouds moving to open source. So if you look at Red Hat, you're in a position, technically, uh, no, I mean, everything can change, but right now, you're in a position where even if you lose the race, you're gonna win a lot. We think so. Like, it's, it's a nice position to be in. We think so, and, and, and frankly, you know, a lot of our partners are really investing and are sold on the fact that Red Hat is going to be a winner. In fact, um, Goldman Sachs just did a survey with top uh, enterprise CIOs at the end user level. And they asked them, looking forward, who are the most strategic partners that you have? Red Hat was in the top three as the most strategic partners looking forward. Yeah, I saw that. I got a press release on that. Um, and yeah, it, it's interesting, eh? Because 10 years ago, Red Hat was basically nowhere. Um, I remember going in there going, what the heck are you guys talking about? Open source, you know? And, um, Nowadays, you know, everybody's talking open source, and I mean, even you know, small companies, mid-sized, large, it's 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 gone right, it's done the gamut. Well, and a, and a lot of the the new ISVs, they're you know really coming out of the woodwork are open source ISVs. Correct. Yeah. It's interesting. If you have anything to say, if you want to give, leave one uh, message to the channel, what would it be? Well, I, I would say that, that if you're, you know, there's really uh, multiple opportunities. Uh, <clears throat> one is, if you're not asking your customer what their open source strategy is, you're allowing for another partner to be working with them on that because they have an open source strategy. And I would encourage all partners to ask that question. If there are legacy Unix uh, environments, um, those are very costly to run and they don't scale well, and that you should ask the question of, you know, what is your migration strategy? 90%, according to an IDC survey, 90% of all Unix or Sun customers are actually looking to, to migrate. And so, yeah, so with sense. those, with those, I would, I would say that, that ask for the open source, uh, what their open source strategy is, as well as then what the, their Unix migration plans are if, if they uh, have Unix in their environment, and uh, we'd love to uh, work with you and support you. Terrific. Sounds really good, and good luck with everything, Jason. Great. And hopefully, we'll see you back on on the record. Appreciate it.